You know, we want to improve in every facet. Hello and welcome to Canadian Stadium. I'm Kirk Penton, joined by fellow football writer Jim Bender. And today the Bombers had their final day at the stadium. Garbage bag day. The last and the last garbage bag day here too. That's right. Um, we talked to Joe Mack. We talked to Paul Apolice. We talked to the players. Uh, Joe Mack is very confident in signing the three quarterbacks. What uh, What do you think? You talked to Alex Brink and Buck Pierce. What's What's the feeling you have? Well, obviously the Bombers want uh, Buck Pierce back because I think he's proven himself as a leader. Did not have the greatest year stats-wise, but you have to remember he came off a, an almost career-threatening injury to play this year. And, uh, Getting that full year under his belt, I really think will help him next year, and I think they really uh, need to have Buck back. I also think they need to have Alex Brink back because I think he can really help them as a second guy going in. In fact, I, I thought he should have gone in uh, the second half of the Great Cup, early in the Great Cup, because Buck did not play that well in the first half. Hmm. Do you think Buck deserves guaranteed money instead of per start? Do you think he's proven he can be healthy? Well, I think that's the reason uh, he signed the contract he did last year because he knew he had to prove that he could stay healthy, even though he wasn't that healthy all year. But yeah. uh, very few quarterbacks are. But, uh, yeah, I think he deserves a standard contract at least now. Joe Mack, uh, I asked Joe Mack about, uh, he wasn't here in 2007, but I asked him about what he was going to do to make sure that this team didn't get happy or com you know, complacent about its Grey Cup showing this year, getting there. And he was very adamant that this team will not rest. He, There will be changes. There will be more changes after this season than there were after 2007. Did you kind of get that feeling from him that, you know, there could be some there could be some veterans bidding adieu, I think, this offseason? Oh, yeah, it's funny. It's kind of ironic because they didn't make that many major changes after last year when they went 4-14. Four and 14, Yeah. But I think they, they've come down to... Uh, where they're going to decide what they need to do to, to uh, for the final piece of the puzzle to uh, win a great cup here. Yeah. And yeah, that could uh, be some veterans. They're going to lose uh, Doug Brown already to retirement. And who knows what Odell Wills' uh, future is going to be with this team. Yeah. The punting situation is also uh, up in the air, something that Joe Mack said they're going to fix in the off season. So. There yeah, be some changes. Paul, Paul Apley says he wants more competition there. And uh, yeah. I don't know if Jimmy Borm will be back. I'm sure Mike Grinnell will give him another shot. And I think he has proven to be the guy in the past. He, he's kind of lost his confidence this year. But uh, I, I would give him another shot, okay. uh, competition or no. Yeah. 12 free agents in all. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's going to be a new-looking team. New look bomber team when they head off to the University of Manitoba next year. So I guess we'll say goodbye to Canada Stadium and we'll say goodbye uh, from the 2011 season. For Jim Bender, I'm Kirk Penton.